If you know your history, then you will know where you are coming from. And in whatever you do, seek wisdom, knowledge is power. Inugo Maka the book, Hip Hop and Igbo Culture, authored by Martin Ifan Ichuku AKZ as our number the first, Metal of Ebon at the 103.5 FM. There is a great insight in Hip Hop and Igbo Culture. You can get this book or pick it up at a bookshop in St. Teresa's Catholic Church Omonya. or at Ebon at the 103.5 FM Ogidi. You go to www.amazon.com dot com search for hip hop and ebo culture by martin ifani chuku akz for further information on how to get this book please call 080 3916 or you whatsapp 080 65 My name is Engineer Ruben Onwebuna Okeke. Okay, um, you are. They call me Obidia. Obidia. That's my okay. title. Name. Okay, name. Okay. Uh, so you are here in the capacity of uh, the chairman of this particular occasion. I am here in the capacity first. I'm an Ogidi person. Okay. I am born from here, so I don't have any other time apart from Ogidi. Okay. Now they selected me to be the chairman okay. of the summit. Okay. We have the chairman of the planning committee, but I am the chairman of the summit. Itself. Okay, so what is this uh, summit all about? See, you know what is going on right now. Yeah. We have security challenges. We have the infrastructure, the roads in Ogidi Abaha. So this summit is to gather all the Ogidi elites okay. to put their heads together and see how we can improve on the security of the town okay. and the infrastructure of the town. Okay. So the summit is actually for the growth of Ogidi. Okay. Uh, security wise. Now, um, looking at it, uh, how would you relate uh, whatever you are doing here today? How would it uh, work with the governor of Anambra State, which is who is the chief security officer of this state? So, how are you working in hand uh, with him when it comes to security itself? Since security is the discussion here today. You see, definitely, there is nothing we can do only ourselves. Okay. But you have to start somewhere. Okay. First, the Igbo of Ogidi is going to be here. Okay. The President General of Ogidi is going to be here. Okay. And these are the ones that can now escalate whatever we decide today, the outcomes okay. and the decisions and the plans that okay. this summit is going to bring out, okay. escalate it to the governor. Mm. Because they have that capacity, capacity okay. to sit with the governor and discuss and tell the governor this is what the indigenous have decided to do okay. and will plead. And whoever wants to have a vote, of course, will listen to us. Okay. That's it. Okay. So I guess uh, some of the discussion should also include uh, things like uh, state police and how uh, we are supposed to fit into such infrastructure if it is supposed to start up now. Exactly. Uh, okay. You see, what happens is that we have those who are experts in security okay. that will be talking to us. Okay. So we are going to listen to them. We are going to listen to the person that will talk on infrastructure development. Mm. Then after that, collectively, we have discussions, okay. and at the end of it, we are going to come up with a resolution. Okay. You know, the outcomes of this, the, this in which will be escalated. Okay. And the indigenous of Ogidi themselves have to contribute their own resources to start. Mm. So okay. that's it. And finally, um, personally, what would you want to achieve with the summit as the chairman of the occasion? At the end, finally, you see, what would you like end, to see? At the end of this summit, mm. I want to see everybody being carried out. Okay. I want to see everybody, right from their bottom of heart, committed to come out with their resources, okay. to come out with their presence and their capacity to support improvement of security in the country, to support development of roads, and even what water. Yeah. These are the things we are going to discuss here. Okay. So I'm looking at, at the end of the summit, we're going to come with concrete solutions on how to tackle this. 
and move it forward. Okay. So that's the essence of this, and that's what I want everybody, carrying everybody along that is, that is here okay. today, okay. to get committed to making sure that the insecurity we are having is reduced to the barest minimum. Okay. Thank you so much for speaking with us, sir. Thank you. Thank you. If you know your history, then you will know where you are coming from. And in whatever you do, seek wisdom. Knowledge is power. Inugo Makadi book, Hip Hop and Igbo Culture, authored by Martin Ifan Ichuku AKZ as our number the first. Metal of Ebon at the 103.5 FM. There is a great insight in hip hop and Igbo culture. You can get this book or pick it up at a bookshop in St. Teresa's Catholic Church Omonya. or at Ebon at the 103.5 FM Ogidi. You go to www.amazon.com dot com search for hip hop and ebo culture by martin ifani chuku akz for further information on how to get this book please call 080 3916 or you whatsapp 080 65 Introduce yourself to our audience. Okay, thank you very much. Um, my name is um, High Chief Dr. Tony Mecca Chendono Gidi. Okay. And uh, the chairman uh, of Gidi Summit 2024 Planning Committee. Okay. So, why did the Ogidi community, Ogidi Union, Nigeria, and diaspora, why did you guys come up with this uh, ideology in the first place? Uh, this is a product of a deep thought. Um, for a very long time, uh, Ogidi has been uh, pondering on how to move forward, you know, given the current uh, surge of uh, insecurity okay. and uh, infrastructural decay okay. plaguing the community. So, as a result of that, um, like minds. Uh, essentially, the Inwellians, uh, you know, came together and decided to chart a way towards um, uh, putting things right to ensure that uh, uh, our lovable community, Ogidi, which has been known for uh, progress, which has been known for peace, internal peace, okay. uh, uh, should not be allowed to be overtaken by the activities of um, miscreants of the society. Mm -hmm. And by virtue of that, they decided to um, come up with this event that is going to happen today to bring together, uh, both physically and virtually, great Williams to uh, discuss um, how to take the community forward okay. as regards security and infrastructure. Okay, so once we are talking about security in Anambra State, we have to involve the Chief Security Officer of Anambra State, which is the Governor of Anambra State. Uh, so, uh, how is this summit working hand in hand with the Governor to achieve security as well? Um, always, always, okay. Ogidi community, you know, has worked uh, uh, with um, government institutions, okay. uh, specifically the Chief Security Officers of Anambra State, and currently the Executive Governor of okay. Anambra State, His Excellency Professor Chukuma Soludo. Okay. And uh, it will be good for you to know that we have eminent Ogidi sons serving yeah. in his cabinet. Yeah. Uh, talk of um, uh, Chief Bob Manuel Udoku, okay. Zana Bankili, yeah. who is uh, one of the senior uh, special, special advisors advisor, yeah. to the governor. Okay. And then our own uh, high chief, um, Ifatu Biokoye okay. Igligi Ngwele, mm. who currently is the chairman of APGA, Anambra State. So we have always worked mm. and we continue to work the government of Anambra State, okay. and specifically the security, chief security officer, the governor. Okay. One of the basic uh, complaints when it comes to security in Anambra State is cultism. Yes. So um, how, uh, what do you like to see at the end of this summit when it comes to that aspect? Yes, I would like to see because uh, cultism is, um, is a kind of, uh, um, uh, let me put it this way, cultism is a plague that has been hurting not only Ogidi community, but the nation in general. Yeah. Everywhere you go, you find our youth getting engaged in some unsavory 
activities known as cultism. And this has actually eaten deep into the fabrics of society. Okay. We are worried because these are the people we regard as futures of tomorrow. Yeah. And if they do not take the front seat in setting the, um, the ground right mm. for their development and for their uh, um, uh, successes, mm. then we are in for doom. Okay. So because of that, uh, it, it is a part of the concern why this summit mm. is being uh, organized. Yes. Okay. And we believe that at the end of this summit, we will be able to, because the Ogide youth is integral part of this. Okay. And one thing I know is that peer discussions, peer education mm. helps to enlighten people because mm. I think that many of our youth who are involved in this cultism do not really understand the implications, especially as it affects their future development. So they are looking at immediate results. They are looking at what I can call immediate or short-term gains, okay. which of course they are not gains, they say, okay. but to them they are gains. So, but they do not look at how it hurts their future. So we believe that this summit will create enabling environment to discuss how to ameliorate the uh, activities. So uh, finally, sir, um, well, how prepared is the security architecture of uh, Ogidi uh, towards uh, uh, state police if it should come? Well, we have always been ready. As you know, we have a, a very virile um, vigilante association. Okay. And again, um, Ogidi uh, happened to uh, be blessed with uh, many noble sons mm. who work within the uh, national mm. and even international yeah. uh, security outfits and networks. Okay. And today you will be seeing many of them at the forefront of this discussion or at the center stage of discussion on security. So we are blessed and we are ready should the uh, call or the quest for right. uh, community policing be okay. approved. Thank you so much for speaking with us, sir. Thank yes. you. If you know your history, then you will know where you are coming from. And in whatever you do, seek wisdom. Knowledge is power. Inugo Maka the book, Hip Hop and Igbo Culture, authored by Martin Ifani Chuku AKZ as our number the first. Metal of Ebon at the 103.5 FM. There is a great insight in hip hop and Igbo culture. You can get this book or pick it up at a bookshop in St. Teresa's Catholic Church. Omonya. Or at Ebon at the 103.5 FM Ogidi. You go to www.amazon.com com search for hip hop and Igbo culture by Martin Ifani Chuku AKZ for further information on how to get this book please call 08039167049 or you WhatsApp 08065796599 record your name sir I try mix here still. Okay, when I carry everybody along. Afumbo, Afumbo, Riyad, Mera, Gubiora, Charles, Mera, Abu Nikenga. Okay. So, um, as a, a security officer as well, can you tell me what you decide at this summit and can you do what you want to do? Yeah, what you want to do is to do what you want to do. And the And the one, the Okay. Okay. So, um, at the end, uh, this summit and the case I work hand in hand with the chief security officer of Anambra State, the governor of Anambra State, and this matter. 
Abu father of the organizer. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Abu mm -hmm. discussant. Okay. Uh -huh. So, madam, I support if anything, whatever they are doing. Okay. And uh, it's not possible for them to be, for this summit mm. not to key into the security architecture okay. of uh, Anambra State. Okay. Generally, so, incidentally, also the uh, security advisor mm -hmm. is a retired. Uh, Air Vice Marshal. Okay. Uh, so definitely, I believe this is an extension of the uh, state uh, security agenda. Okay. This is very strategic. Okay. This is very strategic. This is a gateway okay. from Onicha. Yes. And uh, if Onicha is expanding, mm. this is the, the area message. that is being expanded. So okay. I, I suppose the security architecture for the state, mm. uh, this summit fits into it. Okay. So finally, uh, personally, what would you like to see at the end of the summit? A concrete program. Okay. The, the, the summit is not just for security. Uh, it's a two-part summit. One side is security. Mm. The other one is infrastructural development. Okay. And they go hand in hand. And, okay. If you have good infrastructural development, you attract investors. Yeah. If investors come, job opportunities will be there. So use that don't have anything to do will be gamefully employed. Mm. Of course, if they are gainfully employed, the tendency to drift to crime will not be there. Okay. So that will mean that law enforcement will be able to deal with the minority, yeah. the very tiny minority yeah. Yeah. that deviate from normal norms. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for speaking with us. If you know your history, then you will know where you are coming from. And in whatever you do, seek wisdom. Knowledge is power. Inugo Makadi book, Hip Hop and Igbo Culture, authored by Martin Ifan Ichuku AKZ as our number the first. Metal of Ebon at the 103.5 FM. There is a great insight in hip hop and Igbo culture. You can get this book or pick it up at a bookshop in St. Teresa's Catholic Church Omonya. or at Ebon at the 103.5 FM Ogidi. You go to www.amazon.com com search for hip hop and Igbo culture by Martin Ifani Chuku AKZ for further information on how to get this book please call 080 3916 7049 or you WhatsApp 080 -65 Get to meet you, sir. Your name, sir. Okay. English boy. Kai Bukoya. 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 Kai so why, uh, I guess someone like you got uh, part of uh, the brain behind this uh, initiative of Ogidi Union, uh, Nigeria and Diaspora Arabia with uh, Ogidi Summit, Security Summit. Mm -hmm. So um, what would you like to see from this summit? Sir? As a matter of fact, um, I wasn't in the conception. Okay. I was contacted early enough to be part of it. Okay. Um, in Nigeria, Nigeria, mm. especially Southeast, okay. this security is our greatest headache. It's our greatest headache. Okay. So I would say that uh, the conception and holding of this thing is very, very timely. Okay. It couldn't have been more appropriate than now. Okay. You understand? Mm. So the way I see it, mm. it came at the right time. Okay. So at least let the town, mm. the kingdom, have a focal point okay. of how to tackle this security problem. Okay. Okay. That is just what it's all about. And okay. of course, development. So, yeah. like the, the key points, if you are to suggest uh, the area of discussions or what you would like them to tackle most, what area are you going to come to? There are so many aspects of security. Okay. So many. And uh, to me, what we need right now is security boosted by IT. You understand? Mm. But there are so many things you can't do manually now. Mm. If everybody, if somebody is coming to your house and know that you are CCTV wired, okay. you will be very circumspect. Yes. Uh -huh. 
So the same thing applies to a town. Okay. I think we can even borrow from what Ifan uh, Yubai did in the Navy okay. by wiring the whole of the Navy on CCTV. Okay. And then that is controlled by their vigilantes. Okay. So when they see an infraction, even if those people are running away to the Navy, they will inform the Navy uh, uh, vigilantes vigilante to okay. intercept them. Okay. Uh -huh. So it's that kind of concept. Imagine every town has it. Then it'll be difficult for people to commit these crimes and get away with it. But once they know if you get there, you suffer the consequences, they think twice about coming. Okay. Security is more of deterrence, mm. you know? So these are the directions I will make suggestions. Finally, sir, uh, what area or how would you suggest to this summit uh, in the area of working with the chief security officer of Anambra State, in the person of the governor of Anambra State? My brother is uh, security is not a one man's business. Okay. It's integrated. Okay. If, just like the example I gave, imagine the whole of Arabia State is wired, and then the, each town's security is in that system. Mm. It's very difficult to steal anything here and run or kill anybody and run. Okay. Okay. But they will pick you before mm. you get to Abagana. Abagana is waiting for you. Yeah. They're already aware. Yeah. Because Ebo may will alert them that no. About what is See the description of the. They will, you know, by the time you deal with these guys, they see that they, there's no magic here. Okay. Uh, so integration, okay. that is where the governor comes in okay. to make sure that all the little little efforts by the communities are integrated into a, a strategic structure. Okay. Incidentally, it's my friend that is chief security Officer, advisor, yeah. advice yeah. manager, Ben Chiro. Okay. Yes. But thank you so much for speaking with us, sir. Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> If you know your history, then you will know where you are coming from. And in whatever you do, seek wisdom. Knowledge is power. Inugo Makadi book, Hip Hop and Igbo Culture, authored by Martin Ifan Ichuku AKZ as our number the first. Metal of Ebon at the 103.5 FM. There is a great insight in Hip Hop and Igbo Culture. You can get this book or pick it up at a bookshop in St. Teresa's Catholic Church. Omonya. Or at Ebon at the 103.5 FM Ogidi. You go to www.amazon.com dot com search for hip hop and ebo culture by martin ifani chuku akz for further information on how to get this book please call 080 3916 or you whatsapp 080 65 Nigeria, mm. uh, especially in Anambra, uh, and anyway, a lot of insecurity. Okay. So now we are helping the governor to do his work, mm. and the secondary infrastructure is only it's not only the government. Mm. We are helping the governor to put on some little that we can okay. to partner with the government. Mm. Put on something on the ground. Okay. So at the end of this summit, can you find a perspective for? Oh, at the end of this summit, number one, I have a blueprint. Okay. Uh, I have a blueprint for security. Okay. Then I have an infrastructure. I have, um, after this summit, we go around and know where and where which road and which road we can be able to embark on. Okay. Uh, I think after this uh, summit. I have a zero portfolio. Okay. I yeah, have make sure that man, I have a portfolio. I manage the test. Okay. Then yeah, no, about security, I am um, agreeable to come for everybody to come and leave because okay. man was important in security. Okay. Yes. We are planning. Okay. Well, let's call him for God's sake. Thank you so much for speaking with us. You know what I mean. If you know your history, then you will know where you are coming from. And in whatever you do, seek wisdom. Knowledge is power. Inugo Makadi book, Hip Hop and Igbo Culture, authored by Martin Ifan Ichuku AKZ as our number the first. Metal of Ebon at the 103.5 FM. There is a great insight in Hip Hop and Igbo Culture. You can get this book or pick it up at a bookshop in St. Teresa's Catholic Church. Omonya. Or at Ebon at the 103.5 FM Ogidi. You go to www.amazon.com com search for hip hop and Igbo culture by Martin Ifani Chuku AKZ for further information on how to get this book please call 080 3916 
0809 or you WhatsApp 08065 79 65 99.